Hello, welcome. We are going to be looking at the coordinate plane today and getting the basics down on that. And here we go. So a couple of things we have to begin with with the coordinate plane is that we have two number lines here. We have one number line that runs horizontally and we have another number line here that runs vertically. So instead of just graphing on one number line and finding a spot, we have to consider two different locations and find the spot that way. So this one is called the x-axis, and that runs horizontally from left to right. And then, of course, we have the y-axis here, and this one runs vertically up and down. Another important spot on the coordinate plane is this location here, and that is called the origin. It's where everything begins. It's zero, zero. Location here. And then last of all, we have Roman numerals that number the quadrants when things are divided into four parts. The quad indicates that, so these are called quadrants. And we use Roman numerals to show where those are. Quadrant one has positive numbers in the X, positive numbers in the Y. Quadrant two has negative X's and positive Y's. Quadrant three has negative X's and negative Y's. And quadrant four has positive X's and negative y's. And then we have the term ordered pairs. So again, if we're graphing on a number line, we just are concerned with one location. Where is six? Six is right here. But when we have two number lines to consider, the x and the y, we have to find the 6 on the X, and we might have to find the 3 on the Y. So ordered pairs give us those two locations. Um, so in the instance 6, 3, ordered pair always have, has the X first and the Y second. We would be traveling to the positive 6 here and then the y is positive 3, we'd be traveling to the positive 3 here, and that would be the location. So we can think of this as two places. We have the 6 here and the 3 here, and where they come together, that is our point, and that would be location 6, 3 as an ordered pair. So ordered, because order does matter, the x does always go first, and pair because you have two coordinates you have to think about with ordered pairs and on a coordinate plane. All right, so now we can start looking at graphing. Here. So, again, this is just a reminder here that our x is always going to be first in our ordered pair, and our y is always going to be second. So let's look at how we would graph. So my x movement is always going to be my right-left movement, and my y movement is always going to be my up or down movement, depending on what my numbers ask me to do. So in the x, we're going to find the 4. Some teachers say, run before you fly, things like that to help you to remember that you're moving across that coordinate plane first. So we're going to find the positive 4 here, and then we have to go to the positive 2 on our y. So 4 here and 2 here, and those will connect right here. And we would label that point E as indicated here. Then we have 3, positive 3, so here's my positive 3, but this time my y is a negative number. So 3, positive 3 across, and then down to negative 4. And that's going to be f. And then here I have a negative x, so I'm going to find my negative 
here, negative 5, and I have a negative on the y, negative 4, negative 5, negative 4, and that will be point G, and then H is going to be negative 2, but a positive 5, so negative 2 on the x, and up to positive 5, and that's going to be point H. So again, if it helps you just to think about it, in quadrant one, we have positive x's and positive y's. In quadrant two, we have negative x's and positive y's. In quadrant three, we have negative x's and negative y's. And in quadrant four, we have positive x's and negative y's. So if that helps you to remember that or to write that down for yourself, that's not a bad idea. So now what we have next is four points here, graphed in red, and then we're going to name these points each with the um, ordered pair that goes along with them. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my ordered pairs here. So we'll start with A. So we can, we don't have to make lines like this, but if it helps you in the beginning, you can certainly do that. So on the X, A has a 2, positive 2, and on the Y, positive 3. For B, we have on the X, we're at negative 4, and on the Y, we're at positive 2. And again, if this helps, you know that anything in this quadrant is going to be a negative X and a positive Y. And then for C, we have on the X, we have a negative 2. And on the Y, we have a negative 3, negative, negative. And finally, on for D, we have the Y is here, the X is here. So on the X, it's at 4, positive 4. And on the Y, it's at negative 2, positive 4 and negative 2. All right, so here is your check and correct. This is going to be um, the group of points you will graph on the coordinate plane. And then here, I'm going to give you points to fill in. You'll create your ordered pairs for these four points. And there are your four points. And you can start the video again when you've finished, and then we can correct your work. All right, see you in a moment. Welcome back. Hopefully you have all of this finished, and now we can just go through and correct your work. So let's start with the points that we are going to graph. So four, two. So here's four, positive four, positive two intersects here. That's going to be point M. N is 3, and then negative 4. So point N should be here. O is negative 5, negative 4. So negative 5 on my X, and then down to negative 4 on my Y. That is point O. And then P is negative 2, and then up to positive 5. And that's P. A, we have 1 and 4. B, we have negative 4 and positive 1. C, we have positive 2 on our X and negative 5 on our Y. And finally, D, we have negative 2 on the X and negative 3 on the Y. Okay. 
we're going to do one more page together because I want to go over some special circumstances and that is when there is a point on a line so things like this or perhaps here or here or even here so when a point is on the line then we have to think about what that X and Y looks like. So we'll call this point A, point B, C, and D. So when a point is on an axis, the X or Y axis, then one of the two coordinates is zero. So let's think about this. So point A, point A is two. The X is two here. I can see that, it's right on the two. But if I think about where this intersects my Y axis, it is intersecting the Y axis at zero. Right, because this is zero for the X and it's zero for the Y. So it's intersecting that y-axis at the number 0. So it's 2, 0. Okay. And then we have our next point, which is B. So again, it's, it's on the y-axis. I know the y is 4. The y is 4, but it is intersecting this axis right at, again, this is 0, 0. It's intersecting this axis at 0. So the x in this case is 0. You can kind of see what's happening here. And the rule of thumb, and for some reason these are hard to think about for people, but the rule of thumb is whatever axis the point is on, for instance, the C is on the x-axis. That's the point that you graph here and add to your, um, so you have that in blue to be consistent here. That's the point that you put into your ordered pair and then the other coordinate is zero. Again, D, it's graphed on my Y, so I'm gonna put that in my Y space, thinking about this is the X, this is the Y. In the Y space, I'm going to graph that negative 5. And then, of course, the other coordinate is 0. So again, wherever it lies, that is where you're going to put the point, the graphed point here, and then the other coordinate is 0. So this is when they are on the actual line. So just to practice this a couple more times here, let's do these two. So we'll call these X and Y. All right, so point X, it's on the Y axis. So that means that I'm gonna put two in the Y spot, thinking about X and Y here. Two in the Y spot and the other spot will have a zero. For this one, it's lying on the x-axis. That means I'm going to put the 5 into the x place here, and the other coordinate is 0. Okay, so now we're going to try these on our own. You have 1, 2, 3, 4 points that you're going to graph. And then you have four points that you're going to give the ordered pair four. So we're going to do this one. B, C is going to be here. And D is going to be here. All right. Well, good luck with getting these done. Thank you for watching and advocating for yourself and growing those math skills. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.